is uh, from uh, whatever the material I am showing here, guys. This is from Raw Symbols ETL uh, Life uh, Life Cycle Toolkit. So it is everything is being taken only from there. But I try to prioritize which is important, which is not important, because the book itself will be like thousand pages. Trying to extract data from the source systems, which can be SAP, non-SAP, your CRM, HR, finance, everything in a different system. You are going to extract all the data. You are going to do a data staging area in which so you try to clean, combine, standardize, extracting data from all these sources. But still, it is not ready for the customer. It is only for the technical person or the database engineers. And then it can extract data from flat files, relational uh, tables, etc. It can also do sorting, sequ sequential, and uh, processing of the data. So staging area is nothing but your your open place outside your data warehouse. So if you are moving into your uh, your 20 bedroom palace. First, you are going to do is use the outside place where you can get all the items and say, I don't want this item, I don't want so and so item, it is not in a good shape. Whatever you want it to remove, whatever you want to fix, whatever you want it to standardize, you are going to do in that staging area before you move into the palace. Palace is our data warehouse. Okay, so finally, after you cleanse, combine, standardize, you will move to your data warehouse where if you see data warehouse is not kind of one single layer you have data mart 1 data mart 2 and there is a data warehouse bus conformed facts and dimensions we will talk about this very clear what is a conformed fact and what is a dimension why is it uh, different if you see data presentation area data mart 1 dimensional atomic and summary data based on a single business process this is for one business which is only hr the second uh, data mart is for sales. The third data mart is for uh, is for uh, could be operations. It could be for uh, production. Finally, data access tools. That is where is important. Why are we doing all this? It is just only to query your table to get one small information from your data. At the start of the session, I told you you should be ready to write many SQL statements, SQL queries. The purpose of building a data warehouse is about querying only, nothing else. But you have to query right set of data and it should be responsive. You want a very responsive database. So the data access tools are also part of the data warehouse, I call it. Though it is a separate module called business intelligence, where your user or yourself will run ad hoc queries. Report writers will be looking at the data. Analytic applications will be processing the data and then modeling which includes the forecasting scoring data mining forecasting is nothing but you are going to estimate yourself saying i uh, let us say for example in the same uh, same sense like uh, i have a data warehouse now i have 20 uh, uh, different departments in the same way i have a single family home i have 20 people living there you need to forecast saying this this month we have consumed so much of milk and so much of oil so that you can plan in future how much milk and oil you require data mining what is data mining it is a very important concept in, 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 in data warehousing though the user may not know people between the age 20 and 30 consumed like 20 beers along with which uh, there is uh, 20 kilos of non waste con consumption that is a data mining concept. It will give you the hidden trends. The actual thing is the consumption of 20 beers. But the hidden thing is there is also a consumption of 20 chickens there. That is data mining. So the most popular data mining, data business, business intelligence, forecasting tools, one of them is business objects. In the same way, there are many other tools in the market which does this forecasting, data mining, and then uh, analytics. Business objects is also a very good analytical tool. SA, SAS is a very good analytical tool for uh, those who are in healthcare industry. So it is like that. So analytics, you, you need that. Analytics is about all the data which you don't know. A business user don't know how does it relate. For example, let us take a product. You wanted to target selling a chocolate for the age between uh, maybe uh, 5 to uh, 50 
and you will have to target all the females who is largest consumers of chocolates in the world. So you cannot put a promotion for an old man or for a guy who doesn't eat chocolates. You will have to target your customers as children and women for advertising your product. Who will give you that? It is analytics. You will see what age group is eating a lot of chocolates. Which flavor of, uh, of ice cream you are selling more. The strawberry flavor is most popular among kids. So you will have to increase the production of your, uh, your strawberry ice cream. Rather than doing chocolate same quantity, vanilla same quality and uh, strawberry same quantity. You will have to increase the strawberry, reduce the vanilla, uh, minimize the chocolate. It is like that. We will see in, in depth each area, whatever I am showing in this bus architecture, we are going to see crystal clear each of them in, in a very neat fashion. If we are not able to complete everything today, that's fine. But without knowing your data, without knowing the requirement, first let us understand the concept of data warehouse. There are four separate and distinct components of data warehouse environment. The first is operational source systems. A second is data staging area. Third is data presentation area. Fourth is data access tools. There are certain tools which can access this data finally. So these are the four areas in the basic architecture of a data warehouse. In the next slide we will do a deep dive about each of them. Operational source systems. This is the first area for my, so for my data warehouse. There are operational system of records that capture the transaction of the business. First understand what is an operational system. Then we will talk about the warehouse. An operational system in the technical term is called as an online analytical transaction processing system. What it is? You have point of sale for every business. Point of sale is nothing but if you go into a grocery shop, Spencer's or Reliance, you are going to keep buying products. If you look at the bill, each product will have an ID, a time of purchase, an amount incurred, how many units you purchase. That is a trans that is a transaction. If you look at a bank database, you are going to a teller writing a check for 20,000, withdrawing it. It will show your balance. At the end of the month, it has to give you a statement. That is all a transaction. Each transaction at each point of sale is a transaction. I mean, each, each uh, thing happening at a point of sale is a transaction. You understand me, right? So the system which captures these transactions is the online analytic online transaction processing system which is also called as the operational system or a legacy database. That is an operational source system. So it will be able to capture data in low level details. If you go to an ATM mission, get a mini statement, it will give you last six transactions. That is an operational system will maintain it with a very level of detail saying on so and so date at so and so time. So and so ATM, so and so person has withdrawn so and so amount. It has to give that. It is the operational system. So the source system should be thought of uh, thought of as an outside the data warehouse because presumably we have little to no little to no control over the content and format of data in these operational legacy systems. What it means is you cannot modify a source. You are a data warehouse engineer. You don't have command on that. You cannot touch the, uh, uh, the source systems. All you can do is extract the data. That's all it is. You cannot ask a source person saying, can you change this? That is possible only a very little. That is only at a very peculiar scenarios that the business will accept to modify their source data according to our requirements. But in general case, no, they will not accept. They will say, this is how it is. You plan your data warehouse, move the data properly. So you have very minimum access on or, or command on the source systems. So the main priorities of the source system are processing, performance and availability. Performance, very important. If you go to a bank, if you go to an ATM, if the machine does not respond after you inserted card for like 2 minutes, you are worried, thinking so your card is gone. Or there is a chance that someone can misuse the card. So performance wise it should be very responsive. 
we all feel very bad when our gmail doesn't refresh properly so performance is a very important thing on on the operational source system processing and availability which means availability i wanted to do it at midnight or day it has to be the same 24 by 7 availability you cannot say you, uh, how many guys are you unhappy when it says system under maintenance sorry for inconvenience we all see this right though though they put that it is very hard for business to avoid that so they do only at nights around 1 o'clock non peak time they'll get down the system put some patches increase the server capability or do anything on that so the main priorities of source system are processing performance and availability queries again a source system are narrow one record at a time queries that are part of the normal transaction flow and severely restricted in their demands on the operational system so believe me an operational system is not for the business users it is for the customers customer if he feels happy your business will run it is not the business user should feel, feel happy about it so the customer will not come and ask you uh, too many things on how many people uh, came to your bank today how many loans you have he, he is more concerned about can you look for me a small transaction i see like 30 dollars is spent on so and so day is it correct where did i buy this product i never went to costco i never went to best buy he will talk about single transaction so your source system must be capable to narrow to one record at a time so it is granularity we are talking about the granular level of source system is the lowest possible transaction so we make the strong assumption that source systems are not queried queried in the broad and unexpected way that data warehouse typically is are queried see the purpose of data warehouse is getting the summary data if you try to run the same summary query on an operational system boom it it hangs the rest of the operations are gone the system will be hanging for hours and the customer is gone so you don't want to do that kind of queries on the operational source system even even while building a data warehouse if you have access to the production system if you run a summary query putting a group by class you are fired you cannot do that that is a limitation on the source system all you can do is extract a data put it into an other uh, other place which is your staging area and then do the profiling you cannot go and uh, directly query on your source system for uh, for 10000 10 million records and then do uh, your profiling there no one will allow you the source system maintains little historical data and if you if you have a a good data warehouse the source system can be relieved of much of responsibility for representing the past which means as i told you as an example if you go to an atm the source uh, the, the operational transaction the online um, sorry transaction processing system can give you only information about last six transactions or 10 transactions at the max so it has only partial history if you say i want uh, the the first transaction when i open the account it cannot print you the atm center if you go to the bank even they will say we will order you for an statement they cannot print you uh, the statement before 6 months so there is a limit for the operational uh, uh, source system it will not store the entire data in it it will be very particular that it can store only last 6 months data or one year data only then it is productive it is uh, it is uh, kind of a very responsive database because it is for the customer so uh, you will have to understand building a data warehouse will 